Hello everyone, in today's video I want to share with you a new tool that I've been using called Whimsical. This is a wireframing tool that works directly from your browser and it has great features that helps you to quickly create concepts for your app and web design projects. I've been using this for my own projects and I want to share with you some of uh, my own thoughts as well as kind of a first impressions. Now when you first open up a project, one thing you'll notice is that the interface is super clean and minimal. There aren't a whole lot of distractions in terms of menu items, but what you do have is a toolbar on the left side here that contains a lot of essential features to help you in your process. The first thing you want to start off doing is create a frame. You can think of a frame as an artboard preset in other applications. So for this, we can start off by creating an iPhone X uh, frame and drag that in. One of the main features is the ability to drag and drop popular design elements directly into your uh, concepts. So things like buttons, uh, text fields, drop down menus, and placeholder images can be accessed from the elements button on the toolbar. You also have a variety of icons that you can use on your projects. So you don't have to design icons yourself or visit other sites to bring them into your project. You can select icons from categories or you can search for various icons and uh, drag them in. You can also add or change icons of various design elements. For example, if I want to change this placeholder image to convey a map instead, I can use the contextual menu to change the icon into a map icon. There is a basic text tool that you can use to add text or even a text field. You can add boldness or change the font size. However, you can't go too crazy with the customization here. And that goes for a lot of the other elements here uh, in Whimsical. They are very intentional in the way that they've uh, designed this so that you don't go too crazy thinking about customization. Things like color, uh, drop shadows, or any kind of special effects are really restricted or even cut out entirely in certain cases. So you can only focus on the concepts that you need to get out. As you're creating wireframes, you have the ability to add what's called connectors. What these allow you to do is show or communicate the uh, relationship between different screens or even the different forms of interactions that you plan on having for your early concepts. The last features I want to touch on are the ability to create and share links for others to be able to view and give feedback for your concepts and the ability to export your frames uh, to your computer or have them printed off. So as I have mentioned before, I've been using this for my own projects and what I really appreciate is the fact that this is very restrictive, uh, intentionally restrictive so that the user isn't so tempted to go into further detail instead of uh, using it for uh, creating simple and effective wireframes to communicate ideas. I'll most likely do a video in the future going more in depth for this tool and I want to share with you guys more tools like this that will help you in the design process. I'll leave a link in the description so you can check it out for yourself. And if you enjoyed this video, definitely leave a like and subscribe. I'll see you guys on the next one.